All right, welcome to the beginning of the 24-hour hacking stream. So, change resolution. It's on 1080. All right, so welcome to the 24-hour hacking stream. So, uh, yeah, let's um, let's start this thing off. Uh, I'm gonna start off with Symphonos One. So let's go ahead and make directory for Symphonos One. CD into there, and I guess uh, start off with MMAPS hack SN. Yeah, I'll pop up in a minute. Um, I actually don't even know my where I'm even at like right now. Uh, Tunnel Zero should not be up anymore. That's okay. Ten zero two fifteen MMAP attack SN in the ten zero two zero slash twenty four. Let's see what this uh, guy's IP address is here. Whoops. No, it should be more than just that. Let's see here. He's on the correct port, correct? Network settings. He's natted. The other one's natted. Cable's connected. Yeah, let's do a little net discover. I'm also wondering if it has to do something with a. Uh, did I just change the network adapter settings? 10.0.2.2? See if that's anything. That to me looks like a Windows machine, especially with 3389 up and everything like that. That to me looks like a uh, Windows machine. I don't know if Symphonos, no, Symphonos 1 can't be a Windows machine. Never mind, it's on, it's on Vault Hub, so it's definitely not a Windows machine. All right, let's go ahead and try that one more time, MMTAC SN. If not, I might just have to unplug, okay, we'll unplug the cable network. Unplug that. Plug the cable back in. Tunnel's still up and everything like that for some reason. Even though it's closed down. I might just have to do like a, what is it, system, CTL, restart, network. Networking service. Let's try that. No, tunnel's still up. Oh, you know why? Because if it's natted, everything's going out 10 0 That's why. Let's go ahead and change the uh, network adapter here. That's why. Okay. Um, we'll just do a NAT network internal. We'll say that. And then I might have to put this guy on two different networks in case we have to look anything up online. Uh, so we'll do network settings. I'm on the phone scene like right now. NAT network internal. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and do that. And uh, we'll do another IF config. See if uh, my P address changed. Hopefully it did. 10 0 0 0. So MMAP TAC SN for the 10 0 0 0 network. Slash 24. And let me go ahead and also connect another adapter 3. And we might have to actually restart that Symphonos machine because he probably doesn't react like that of unplugging the cable and plugging it back in. So we'll do something like that. All right, now we are on our way to greatness. Let's go last 24 hours, you know, we got plenty of time. <laughs> Oranger, did you get it figured out? Let's see what the hell this one, I don't know what that one's even connected to. All right, so it looks like we got 32. Let's see what that three, okay, that'll work. Alright, so let's go ahead and do an MMAP TAC SN or TAC B TAC for 10 0 0 32. Alright, we got quite a few ports up here. Looks like we got some uh, SMB, so we know we'd be able to do an enum for Linux on 10 0 0 32. I haven't done that in a while, huh? 
Let's make sure I actually am 30 and not 32 or something. Yep, I actually am 30. So, looks like we're getting some stuff back here. Looks like we got a user. He, Helios. Helios or something like that. Um, so, I might just be able to do a little uh, SMB client. Attack L for 100032. And we have an anonymous and we have a Helios. Might be able to get into those. Let's try it out. SMB client for 10.0.0.32 slash anonymous first. We'll try that first. Attention.txt. Go ahead and get that. All right, um, can we go anywhere else? No, okay. Let's go ahead and do the same thing for, I believe it's Helios. H-E-L-I-O-S. Yep. All right, looks like we're not going to be able to get in there. Attack you. All right, let's go ahead and cat that attention.txt. Can you just please stop using passwords like epidemic? By Dioko, Query, and Baseball. Next person I find using one of these passwords will be fired from Zeus. Uh, I didn't see Zeus whenever he did that eating for Linux. I only saw one user there. So we may have two users so far. So let's go ahead and do a nano possible users. And we'll go ahead and we'll throw in those two guys, like right there. We'll go ahead and throw in uh, Zeus and Helios. But Helio seems like a much better possible user. I also may want to start taking my notes too, huh? So let's go ahead and do our MF scan, right? Let me go back to my MF scan up here. There we are. And we'll come over here and we'll just say mmap. We'll do SMB. Or we'll do um, enum for Linux. We'll throw that in there. Let's see what we got here. Should probably just copy and paste the whole guy down. Make my life easier. We'll go back and look at it if we need to. <clears throat> all right cool and from here we'll go ahead and we'll do a uh smb client And there we go. All right, cool. So let's keep going here. So we got, it looks like we have some easy usernames. So we might be able to do a Hydra, attack L, possible user, dot text. P, let's go with a user share, word list, um, actually word list. Let's try like, because they said that they were common passwords, right? So let's do like, um, not rock you. Let's do fast track. SSH and do 10 0 0 32. And I'll also go check out that 480 that we had up and running. Still from yesterday's stream. 10 0 0 32. See what we got here. All right. Put a little picture there. Nothing else in there. Let's go ahead and do a startup with Goldbuster on that guy. Just use big dot text for now. We'll go from there. Manual. 
All right, looks like we got ourselves like a default type of Apache page. Just go into an MMAP, attack P80 on 10.0.0.32. Throw in a default script to try to figure out the version for that guy. We'll see what happens here. Okay, let's do a search exploit for Apache 2.4.25. Memory leak. I'll rotate privilege escalation. This also like right here. Go ahead and see what that guy's all about. We don't really have anywhere to prove like right now, though. So, I wonder if there's anything inside that manual after, after we found that manual. I wonder if there's anything else past that. Slash manuals. Okay, nothing in there. So, right now, so far, all we got is just that attention.txt and to stop using easy passwords. I'm also wondering, maybe uh, let's try to Hydra... Uh, the possible users dot text against user share word list uh, fast track and we'll do um SMB also on ten zero zero thirty two. So Zeus isn't even valid. Oh we found valid password found for who we're at. Oh zero pal password found of one of one target. So he's not finding anything with an SMB for Helios or anything like that. I'm wondering um, what, I'm wondering if we need to throw an actual like user file at it or something like that, you know? Um, we found port 80. We got the ENU for Linux. We found Helios, right? We found that they're probably using easy passwords, right? But we haven't gotten anywhere else since then. Um, I'm wondering... Maybe this guy got confused with uh, Attack L Helios. Okay, nothing in there. All right. Um, rock you. And. SMB client. Ten zero zero thirty two, right? Helios and Anonymous. We have Helios's personal share, Anonymous. Anonymous only showed us the So we got Anonymous, is this the attention? Huh. Go and throw the passwords that we saw. I'm going to exit out here. Cat attention dot text. Let's go and make a little password list. Nano passwords dot text. And let's throw those in there. Doesn't look like Hydra found anything over here for uh, for SSH. Okay. Let's go ahead and try to do an SMB or Hydra. Tac L, Helios, Tac P, passwords.txt for SMB 10.0.0.32. Nothing. How about for SSH? User God Olympus. User our god olympus what do you mean like that guy right there we get three passwords let's try smb i wonder if we can do something like this 
No. Alright, let's try... Because I know that, um, at least with Windows, I know that messes up a lot. Um, Hydra with Windows and doing it like that. Helios. Password.txt. Q-W-E-R-T-Y. Oh. Okay, we're in with that. Okay. Alright, cool. So we got in with one of them so far, right? So yeah, see, SMB does mess up a lot whenever you're doing um, Hydra with it. So let's go ahead and do a tension dot text gave us three passwords. From there, we used QWERTY to get into the Helios share with user Helios. Okay, cool. So we're getting pretty far so far. Let's go in DIR. We got research.txt and to do. Let's go and get research.txt and we'll get to do.txt. Exit out here, cat research.txt. Was the god of sun in Greek myth myth mythology? Was thought to uh, ride a golden chariot, which brought the sun across the skies each day from the east, the opiates to the west. That's good, okay. Well, at night he did return to the journey in a leisurely fashion, lodging the golden cup. All right. Binge watch Dexter dance work on Helios. Okay. Let me grab that. Ah, uh, cool. Um, now let's go ahead and uh, let's see what that Helios is all about, like right there. Just another WordPress page. All right. It looks like we have WordPress in here. So let's go ahead and do a GoBuster. Third attack U 100032 for Helios. See if we can find anything else in there. All right. We got WP admin, WP content, and WP includes. Let's go ahead and check out that WP admin. Make sure that Helios is actually a real user. And phonos.local. Okay, so it's actually trying to go somewhere, huh? So let's go ahead and do a sudo nano etsy host 10.0.0.32. Symphonos. That's how it's spelled right. S Y M F O N O S dot local. Okay. And we'll go ahead and try that one more time. Stop going to Google. I hate whenever it does that. Huh. Well, we don't have a WP login. That's probably why we got the WP admin. This site cannot be reached. WP includes. Okay. So we got the includes there. So we know that's up and running. So what's going on with this thing like right here? Because we know we got WordPress site now. So we know it's up and running and everything. But we're not able to get into anything in there. Um... Go ahead and WP scan. Forgot to use WP scan. I haven't used it in a while. I feel like it's a lowercase u for the URL. Is that correct? Tac tac URL. local slash Helios. So photos not as cached. What? Um, no. What do you mean cached? 
We just threw it in the Etsy host now, so it's going off of that for the name of it and everything like that, the DNS and everything. All right, so he's finding WordPress site. Just going to see what users are on there. See if you can find some users or anything like that. Okay, so we found admin on it. So we know that admin's part of the WordPress site. Let's go ahead and look at all plugins. Okay, it's not finding any plugins though. And we got a couple of WordPress versions here. Don't know if any of those are going to be interesting or not. But so far, we're not. Uh, we found Helios. And we found. How did I. I remember I looked up more plugins at one point. I did like. It was like. I forgot what I typed in, but I was able to look at more plugins or some of that. That's not it. Um, WP scan to find more plugins. Everyone always just talks about attack AP, but I know that there's a way to be able to get a larger group of plugins. Hmm. I don't remember how to do it. Yes, go ahead and update. All right, um, but we still can't get that some photos that local, can we? Yeah, if somebody just still bring me over here. There's some walkthroughs, that's good. <laughs> then we did actually 10 0 0 3 2. Maybe if I spelled it right, then we'd actually be able to find it. Okay, how the hell do you spell this? I didn't spell that right, right there. I don't know what the hell that is. What do we have here? We had some Fornos, right? How do you spell that? That's why I'm F O N O S, right? That's why I'm F O N O S. Fornos. No, Fornos is not a cache. No, I mean it's in the Etsy host now. That's dumb. Like right there. Why isn't it pulling it out of the Etsy host file? There we go. Okay, so we got somewhere. Okay. At least we got to here now. So we're getting somewhere. Now we can get to the WP login. We can go ahead and see if admin's an actual user. Uh, error admin, user admin. Okay, so that's correct. Okay. We can see if Helios is a user. And he is not. Okay, so admin is a user. In here, right? So let's try WP scan. Let's try to get start getting in this guy. So we'll do a WP scan, uh, tag tag URL. We'll do a tag U, um, admin, tag P, user, share, wordless, rocket.txt. That's the wrong, spell it wrong. There we go. Now we actually got the correct uh, thing. We're actually seeing some more stuff here, huh? For WordPress here. So I might want to do that. Okay, it doesn't look like uh, there's any plugins. Right now, the two plugins that I found doesn't look like they're vulnerable. Uh, let's go ahead and do a WP scan. Um, tag tag URL. 
four HP. Symphonos dot local, and we'll do a tack E AP. No, oh, Helios slash. H three L one zero five. Just want to try that like right there. See if we get any more uh, plugins. So all we got is Mail Masta and Site Editor. Mail Masta version one point zero and Site Editor one point zero. Yeah, that's definitely vulnerable. Okay. So let's go ahead and look up search boy Mail Masta. Oh, well, site editor. So it's showing out here that's vulnerable. As of 2016, at least. Mail Monster WP local file inclusion. The file inclusion vulnerability allows the attacker to include a file that usually explain a dynamic file inclusion mechanisms implemented in the target application. The vulnerability occurs due to the user use of user supplied input without proper validation. WP content. Let's see if that works like right there. Yes, it does. So that's at the password right there. So yes, that 100% works. So WP scan, all plugins saying that's not vulnerable. That's 100% vulnerable. 1.0. That doesn't even sound like a good, a good one to me. I'm gonna copy this whole thing. We're just gonna say um, WordPress. Do something like this over here so there we go so now we found at least something that's vulnerable so hopefully we can get some local file inclusion going here maybe find some uh can we do like an and can we do like an and command equals id no okay so we're not throwing an and command in there okay uh let's see we got helio so let's go ahead and go to Home, H-E-L-O, Helios, let's see what's in, um, slash, dot S-S-H, I-D-R-S-A, do we have anything like that? No, we do not, okay, damn, that would have been nice. Um, still trying to brute force file over here, you need to get an API key for, yeah, I know, I know, I just don't. I don't really use WP scan very much. Like I, I don't use it really at all. So I just never really cared, but no, I definitely do need one because male Masta would have definitely shown up on that, you know? Um, and if male Masta is vulnerable, we might as well freaking check to see if, um, the other one's vulnerable also, you know? Um, so how is this, if male Masta is vulnerable, right? Because we saw port 25 open, didn't we? We did SMTP. So can we tell that? 10.0.0.32 into port 25. We can. All right. Um, so if we can tell that into there. then that means that we should be able to most likely put like a PHP command, right, on here. We throw like a PHP command into here and do it like that. 
Um, so if we can get into there, then that means that we should technically be able to send an email, right? It would go to Mail Master, right? Um, to him, right? So we would say like mail from mail to Helios. Damn. Um, recipient to mail from OGC recipient to. Okay. And then we got to put in the crap. How the hell do I put in the body? Should be do data. Okay, so we're gonna put in data, and then from there we should just be able to put in like a PHP command, right? So we should just be able to do something like a uh, cat scripts uh, PHP command execution address bar. Is that where we're gonna be? At? We might just be able to give it something like that, right? Like right here. Um, just like the PHP um, system git command. So let's go ahead and do body. Oh, what? Oh, data. Damn it. I hope I just didn't mess up this whole thing. Data. And we want to throw this guy in there, right? It's PHP git command. And is that going to be it? How do I stop it now? Um, so we throw data in there. Quit. Yeah, let's see if that worked. Uh, quit didn't work. I don't know that much. Uh, let's see if that. I think I might mess it up. Let's go ahead and start over here. Mail from. What would you see? Okay, I think I messed it up. Somewhere along the line there. So you take this messed up one, throw it over here so that I can remember how to do it again. And we're just gonna close that out and we'll go ahead and we'll hop back into here. And we'll do a SMTP. All right, tell them that. Back into it. Mail from. Mail to Helios. Damn you. <laughs> I don't like this thing. Recipient to Mail from Mail to Recipient to Body. It's data, isn't it? How the hell do we end this? Do I have to do like that? Do I have to do that? Put the message in there and then do that again? Try one more time. Okay, I don't know what the fuck that means, like, right there. <laughs> That's a dot. To end. Okay. I don't know if it's actually going to take this command now, huh? So just end data with, it could have just typed out period. 
All right, let's go ahead and close it. Let's try this one more time. I feel like we could have just type that period like right there. Made our life a lot easier. Like end data with period. Mail from. Recipient to. We'll get this time. Data. Let's throw in this command line like right here. Okay, queued, and then what? Quit. All right, is that it? So if that's the case, then we technically never said mail queued for delivery, but we'll try it. Let's go ahead and say and should be like and command equals right now. Okay, well that did not work like right there. I know we're on the right path. Don't really know how to do it. Do I have to actually show something like var, like um, Etsy password or something like that? No. Okay. Line feed carriage return. Is that what that stands for? But never actually said that sent. Do I have to type in like send or anything like that? Okay, it's queued. Now, how do I actually send it? Data. Boom. Supposedly that should work like right there, right? No, I cannot get the WP config. Oh, you're saying up here? May be able to. You know what? I think I'm actually messing this thing up. That was gonna be something uh like var ww what, what do you think it would be in mean, probably be in var ww html slash h3 l105 helio slash wp config hopefully not in there dot php not in there uh might be in wordpress Slash WP config? Nope. Um, could be an opt, I think, or Etsy or something like that, but. Go ahead try that. Nope. Alright. Huh. We can definitely send that mail off. We have local file inclusion with it, and we can definitely mess with that. Um, so. I know we can do something with that. Oh, you want to know why? Probably because var I have to go to mail, don't I? I probably have to go to mail to be able to slash mail. No, that's got to be a thing, like right there. Because we have the mail thing in there, right?
See what the location is of it. It might not be in Bar W, huh? Might not actually be there, huh? Because if it's getting the mail, we might be able to. Maybe it's going to instead of var var mail. Helios. I feel like I should be able to see something. Damn. I feel like if we're going to get anywhere, it's going to be in VAR mail or VAR to be W mail or something like that. So I feel like we got to get to the mail server first and then from there go and do everything else, you know? Nope, nothing in there. Huh. That's very, very strange. Other one, what was the other one that was on there for WordPress scan? So there's another one on there also, right? Site editor. Site editor 1.1. Vulnerabilities. Local file inclusion. Okay. So they're both local file inclusion, huh? Well, now that, you know what, now that we got that. Might be var 3w Helios or h3 l105 slash wp config dot php. Try that, nope. Try slash wordpress. Nope. WP content. Let's try that. Nope. All right. I know it's something to do with this damn mail server. Because SMTP is open plus that. And the only thing that really makes sense to me is that it has to go in that mail server like right there. I'm not getting that cool. I'm getting that cute. I mean, I wonder how, how do we send it? Can we just type in like send? Is that like thing?
feel like also there's a better male thing that we could probably use too. There's male. So it is. Like that. And the username was Helios. It wasn't all weird and stuff like that. I don't think it's going to be like add some phonos dot local, right? I don't think it could be anything like that. Do something like this, like right here. And then. There wasn't anything wrong with the SMT, SMTP server, I could tell. It's mostly just this local file inclusion vulnerability that we have here that we can mess with and be able to, you know, kind of mess with that to be able to do different things to it. And if we get to var www or var mail, then we technically should be able to put whatever we want in there like a get command and we should be able to do and command equals so I'm not really understanding we should be able to get that but I'm wondering if I set up so much mail that it's getting lost yeah it should just be and command equals and then something afterwards and that should be pulling from it. But I'm also wondering if I something so much that it's messing it up. I'm also wondering if it's dropping it into different folders too. As it's going over there. Okay, not doing anything weird like that, okay? H-E-L-I-O-S, right, Helios? Okay, it still works. Just want to make sure it still worked. this up here again mail from do like that See, I don't think I put a space in there at all last time Cynthia to data okay So now I'm wondering, nothing still. Man, that is very, 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 very strange. Thanks a lot for the follow, Tiberis. Oh, thank you for the raid, Tiberis. Wow, thank you very much. Maybe you guys can help out, because right now we're uh, trying to figure out how to send mail to Helios, but it's not going through, I don't think. 
I'm thinking I sent him so much crap that it just doesn't work anymore. Let's go! What's up, DZ? How you doing? I'm trying to send mail to Helios like right now. I'm actually restarting the machine like right now. I think I've sent him so much. Well, it's not going to matter because it's down Vault Hub now I think about it. But I sent him so much stuff though. So this is what we're doing, right? We found that, that we found a WordPress site with symphonos.local. We found the WordPress site. We were able to get into Mail Masta, which is uh, vulnerable to local file inclusion. We could get Etsy password, right? And then from there, okay, so we get Etsy password, right? And then from there, I sent an email to him with a PHP git command, right? So then we could do PHP, um, question mark PHP equals or c command equals and that's something right um but for some reason i'm thinking what should be happening like right now right we should be able to go into var ww helios right well not that in one second it should be var mail slash var mail helios and then the and sign command equals ID and I should be getting something back here at least that's what as far as I know that's what should be happening like right now and we're not getting that and I don't understand why we're not getting that command back thanks a lot for the follow sorry Viking how you doing oh you were just on a little bit earlier weren't you all right I think I know what the problem is I need a coke I think that's what the problem is. All right, there. But yeah, and we should, I'm thinking that we should be able to get it like that. We should just have to send it to Helios put in our data and that should really be about it unless if my git command is incorrect which it doesn't look like it is we also have a wp scan going out here we're not getting anything down there but not really understanding Should be all fine, not how I have also. We could always try something like that. Maybe send it to him. I don't know how that's even gonna actually do anything in there, you know? You know what I'm saying? But thanks a lot for the foul ascertainment. But yeah, that's like where we're stuck at. Is I feel like we should just be able to do and command equals something. Let's go ahead and try to put this in there. Let's go ahead and uh, copy this guy right here. And I'm going to do a nano. We'll just do shell 2. Well, let's go ahead and uh, locate shell.php. Grab one of these guys, one of these thousand guys, like right here. Let's grab the pen test monkey one, so I know that's good. There we go. Copy him over in here, right? Uh, cat that shell.php nano shell.php and let me get my IP address 100030 okay and we'll go ahead and move shell.php to shell2.php so that's what I already have written up here and let's go ahead and just do that this guy like right here. Nope. Jesus, there we go. Grab him. Let's try to throw him in there. All right. Let's go ahead and try to send this guy another email. Mail from. 
someone. That worked out good. Mail from me. Recipient to Helios Data. My mom make a web server, huh? Python 3 web server, see if anything actually comes back. Okay, cute does that, quit. And we'll see if anything even comes back to here. Stream night. 24 hours is a lot of hours, especially if we're just going to be on some phone one the entire time. <laughs> I might actually have to re-download him. We'll look up some photos one download just so I can have them ready to go. Because uh, I'm wondering if I sent him so much crap um, that I broke him. That's what I'm wondering now. So we're not getting anything down here. That guy supposedly should have just well, that's also the wrong HTTP, isn't it? So let's go ahead and do try that one more time. Because that's also the wrong address, isn't it, now? So that's not going to work, because I'm an asshole. But it happens. And it's also going to port 8088 for some reason. 10.0.0.30. There we go. Uh, let's go ahead and throw that into there now. I'm going to see if we get a call back down here. God damn it. I did, I've done that a lot so far. I keep saying mail too. You want to do King of the Hillside with me? Yeah, sure. Um, I mean, <laughs> depending on how tired I am, yeah, sure. <laughs> mail from OGC. Recipient 2. What time is tonight for you, though? Now I think about it. Helios. Um, data. I right, suppose I should get a call back down here. And it should download shell2.php, supposedly, in three hours. Uh, yeah, I mean, that could be like a little break out of this stream, like right here or whatever. Yeah, I think we might have to, uh, I think I sent him so much crap that didn't work that we may have to restart the box, which restarting the box in Vault Hope is not just a quick restart the box. It's an actual, you know, you gotta actually redownload the box. But I do have it. I see I have a bunch of them, so let me see here. Now think of where you got to throw them right back on there again and just do it like that. Cause he's not downloading anything from over here. That's the address, HTTP 30, shell.2, there's a shell2 there. Shell2.php, so he's ready to go and everything and he is not grabbing anything from over there. So... Try this. Okay. Although, I don't know if we even have put, I don't think we have put 
Right there, that on there. Otherwise, the attack A. Nothing. Damn. Yeah, sorry, Viking. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, you should saw me the other day whenever I did, uh, what was it? The, um, well, it's either going to be 24 hours or it's going to be till the, till we run out boxes within, um, Vault Hub. Uh, you should saw me the other day whenever I did, um, how's it called? Um, Certified Red Team Professional. I was up for a while. Right now, I'm just making a new Sinfono's box, and I'm thinking I messed this guy up so much that he just, um, I think I just broke him, because we set so much crap at him in the first place. So I'm just throwing uh, another uh, little thing in there, like real quick, into the storage there, and putting the box together again. But yeah, it's either going to be, I mean, it's going to be one of those two. Don't spank you too bad. These, you're probably going to beat me. Oh, man. All right. So I just spun up another one. I'm going to go ahead and shut this one down so the IP address is most likely going to change. Because I'm thinking we got, thinking we broke it. All right, so we already know some stuff about this guy, right? We already know that we need to obviously add in the... Let's go ahead and do an MF Tech SM first. Get the new IP address for him. If he's even spun up yet. He's not spun up yet, most likely. Um, he is. Oh, uh, you know why? Probably because he's not on the correct network, huh? And we'll go ahead and bowl. Fair play to you. I did an eight-hour stream the other week, and I can barely see that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're going to we're gonna attempt it. Or until we run out of the Vault Hub uh, boxes for, um, what is it? The um, TJ Knowles Vault Hub boxes. One of those two things are going to happen. I don't know which one yet, but I feel like we're just going to do some photos one for the next 24 hours, because... But stuck on this guy for a minute. All right, he's 32 again for some reason. So that's an easy day. All right, so we know that admin's one of the users. We know we have, we did a WP scan, right? And we found that it was running a couple things that looked weird. And we know that we can send mail to there. We have the local file inclusion for mail master, right? So we know that we can get to here. So let's go ahead and do that like real quick. Let's go ahead and get back to there. Well, it's right here actually. Um, that's the password. I'm kind of happy you gave me the same IP address. So we know we can get there. You gave me the same IP address probably because I opened up the same damn box. Oh, boy. I am losing it. It hasn't even been an hour yet, I don't think, and I'm losing it. <laughs> this is not good. Yep, not even an hour yet. Already losing it. All right. Now we should be able to do some stuff on here. 33, okay. So we'll go ahead and we'll hop into, well, let's change this guy to 33. Change this guy, well, this should be good now. Etsy password again. 
Um, let's go and do Etsy Shadow. That's not going to work. Good. And then we'll do Etsy Pass again. Just make sure it's not cash or something like that. And it looks like we're pretty good, right? All right, cool. Let's go ahead and send this guy mail. So let's do a Telnet. And do port 33 there. And we're going to do a mail from myself, right? Recipient to Helios, right? Data. And now we need to put in a reverse shell. Um, there we go. That is going to be that. Enter. Period. Now it's queued. We should be able to technically go over here. Go into var. W to W. Helios, right? And command equals ID. That's what we should be able to do. And we are not getting anything back. That is insane to me. Why are we not getting anything back? I don't get it. Hold up. Is it just because we are viewing the source that we can't do it like that? Because, oh my god. We spent like 20 minutes trying to figure that out. It's because we are viewing the source and you can't look at it like that. Look at that. Symphones.local domain received from blah, blah, blah. Okay, so we had it right the entire time. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's do a netcat. Can we do a which netcat? Bin netcat. Okay, so let's go ahead and do a reverse shell. So what we did there, so everyone's tracking, is there's the SMPT, SM, if you just got here, there's the SM, uh, SMTP server up on port 25, right? From there, since the SMTP server's up, and Mail Masta has a, um, has a, um, local file inclusion vulnerability, right? We are able to then send off an email for a PHP git command, right? So we're going to do command equals something. We can then send off an email, which then you should go to his var www or var mail file, var mail folder. From there, once it gets to that var mail folder, we should be able to call for it because we have local file inclusion, do an and command, whatever we want. All right. So let me go ahead and throw those notes over into here. Let me do something like this first, say LFI. Well, we weren't actually getting able to get to this part, were we? No, because I was still viewing source. Okay. I'm going to put big, bold. Can I do control B? Don't view source. Who would have known? Probably a lot of people, but <laughs> definitely not me. Don't view source. Okay, so we have LFI. Hey, thanks a lot for the follow, J. Will Mello. How you doing? All right, so we have LFI in there, right? Boom, boom. Let's go ahead and now do a... I'm going to show that I sent him an email. Send off email. And then with that local file inclusion, we then have we can then do something like and command equals which neck out. We'll say something like that, and I'll just highlight down here. And there we go. Okay, so now we have that. Okay, cool. From here, we should be able to do a net cat reverse shell thing. Might have to encode it. I don't know. We're going to do 10 0, 0, 30. Let's go ahead and quit out of here. Netcat LVMP 4242. Try to catch that on the way back. Let's go ahead and throw this into here and see if it works. Negative. That said, yeah, that was a really good try, big guy. 
Okay, that's all right. Let's go ahead and do a bash reverse shell. How about that? You never know. You might have Natcat Tacky on there. You never know. 10 0 0 30. Let's go ahead and grab this guy like right here. We'll throw that in there. You, you never know. He might have it. Let's go! There we go. All right, we are getting somewhere. ID, and we are getting somewhere now. Okay, so let's go ahead and cat our full shell. Uh, with Python. Okay, we just got regular Python. Python 2. Boom, boom. All right, cool. Good day. Let's freaking go. Man, I was already feeling a little bit like, oh, man, this is pretty bad. But now, we're good again. We are good. Export term equals X term. Okay. Uh, STTY rows. I know that's looking really weird like right now. 21 columns. 92. Probably because his name is freaking 45 pages long. All right. Let's go in CD into... Go ahead and just start back back in this guy. Let's see what we got here. Nothing really, huh? Cat WP config. Let's see if we got anything in here. WordPress password one two three. Okay, so let's do MySQL. Tack U WordPress, Tack P, password 123. I don't know why the hell I just did that. Show database. Show database or databases? Show database. Show databases. Show databases. Use WordPress. Show tables. Select star from WP users. Doesn't really look like there's much in here. There's the admin password like right there. So instead of trying to brute force it with WP scan, we might be able to throw that down to here and try getting like that. Nano hash dot text John hash dot text word list rocky dot text. All right. So let's go ahead and try to crack that password. Don't know if we're gonna be able to or not. Uh, sudo tech L to see if he has it. Nope. Okay. CD into um, home Helios. Okay. So there's the share, which we already saw that, right? Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and cat our SUID scripts. Scripts, SUID lookup. See what this guy can actually run the box. Doesn't look like anything crazy on here, does it? Status check. Tell status check. Is that thing? String status check. Oh, it's using curl. You notice that, like right there? Where'd it go? Here, let me string that one more time because it's using curl. For the local host. That's strange. If it's using curl like that, I feel like we can mess with that then. If it's using a uh, curl for like the local host stuff like that, I feel like we could maybe mess with that. Can we? I feel like we can. Alright, let's go ahead and Um, I saw that within that guy right there. Let me just highlight that because that looks weird to me. We got curl in there. Can we just change the path of curl to like bin sh and then just run that command like right there? All right. From here, we did a netcat tack e and it worked. There. So now we got privesk.
status check is not normal. Okay, and then we have from there we went ahead and strings status check. And we had that curl command in there, right? That looks weird to me. The file is trying to curl something, curl an interface, curl the local interface. Okay, so if we have curl in there, then what I think we can do is something like CD and attempt echo bin sh into curl and then change the path of curl right change path of curl is going right so we do a change mode 777 to curl um what is it it's um is it echo path what is it what the fuck is it it's um echo path so now we want to put curl in the path right so we want to export the path of slash temp in the path so we should do export path slash temp into is it that or is it export dollar sign path no slash temp dollar sign path so we did not crack the admin password down there shit Slash temp. I thought that's all one, right? Export path. The slash temp. Dollar sign path. Isn't that what it is? Oh yeah, temp. Okay, never mind. We're good. We're good. We're good. Not a valid identifier. That's okay, right? Let's do that export path one more time, just in case. Export path equals. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Thank you. Slash temp dollar sign path. Now we should be able to echo path. See, DZ always come. Oh, there was a guy working on something the other day, DZ, and uh, it was with programming. And I was like, it was after I was done with my stream and I uh, raided that other dude. And I was like, we need DZ in here because he would definitely. It was with programming. The guy had was question on it. I, I don't freaking know. I have no idea. But um, he was doing something. And I was like, we need DZ in here because he would definitely be able to uh to figure out that one like right there. Okay, so now slash temp is in there. So now what we should technically be able to do is just slash opt status checker. So we're status check and let's go. There we go. We are root. Well, we're in the root group. That's good enough for me. I'll, I'll take it. All right. So cd to slash root. And cat the proof dot text. All right. That is one down. Um, We have been streaming so far for, I think, about an hour, hour and a half, some of that. Um, If you guys have watched my streams before, uh, an hour and 19 minutes I've been streaming for there. So there's one down and let's um let's go on to the uh the next guy